Hello everyone, Bugmite back here, and welcome back to what will, I, I would say will be the final episode of my Let's Play series of Pokemon Brilliant Diamond. Because after this route here, just outside where we are, I, I will have basically explored everything here. And I'm not sure there's really, you know, anything else to show, really, besides maybe just a few hidden items. You know, that is, that's rather inconsequential. Oh, I guess I could have gone up here first, but oh, anyway. I'll be right outside in this. Hmm. Yeah, look at this. Oh, and it's playing this music. Hmm. I mean, I would have expected a, a theme maybe I don't know, a little quieter than this. Eh. Turn it off for now. I'll use it when I get into the grass, I suppose. So anyway. Ah oh, yes, Infernape, you're outside with me. That's very good. There's something about you. You're not just anybody. I challenge you! Yeah. I'm... In fact, really, if anything, I'm anything but a nobody. Honestly. not Definitely not just anybody. I'm the champion. The champion. Oh, if probably were. I'll have water type. Now, yeah, whatever. So, anyway. Uh... Power up punch? Yeah, it's not a fighting type. Cause yeah, it's one of its evolved forms. Poliwrath does become a fighting type when it evolves. But Poliwhirl is just pure water type. Oh, you're not gonna use a water type move. You're gonna use what the hey? Whoa. Oh, good. I'm yeah. It didn't paralyze in front of it. That's good. Oh, but oh well. Uh, that's what you want to use. I know Kingfisher. You can go and use that. All right, and uh, Gyarados again. You know what? Let's use Luxray. Yep. Spark or Discharge doesn't matter, and it's out there. Honestly, I think I'd rather just use Discharge just because, you know, just for more fun. Honestly. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Intimidate. I, I mean, I know that you know Spark would knock it out anyway. So. Oh yeah, we both intimidated each other. That's right. Okay. Yep. Because we both got Intimidate. All right. Of course you could do it. It was easy. When you're an electric type against a Pokemon that has double the weakness versus uh, electric attacks, you're at a different level of, of expertise for sure. Yep, for sure. You've won countless times. That has made you very powerful. Oh yeah, that many battles under my belt. Yeah, I still got, yep, I still got eight of these, so I'll just go ahead and use them. Even though, yeah, I should probably, you know, just scout for Pokemon or what while I'm around here. But, you know. So, hey there, man. I've seen countless trainers and even more Pokemon. So what kind of a trainer are you? Uh... The best trainer in Sinnoh, honestly. <laughs> Armando? <laughs> okay. Infernape! Yeah, you can do it! Oh, Intimidate? Eh, yeah, whatever. I mean, I can easily, you know, gain that attack up anyway by using Power Up Punch. Or I could just use Flamethrower. Whoa, oh, Quick Attack, no, yeah, whatever. Crit critical Hit. Didn't that Poliwhirl just land a critical hit with its Body Slam, too? Yeah, I think it did. Didn't get a paralysis effect, but you know, a critical hit there, so yeah. Pelipper, you know what? Let's just I'll just use uh my, my own flying type. Star Raptor Alright, alright. Drizzle? Okay. So there will be rain, whatever. Fly! Let's just go ahead and use fly. Why not? Fly to pie! Stockpile! Uh, oh, hey! And then you can follow that up with either spit up, which is an uh, offensive attacking move, or swallow, which will heal your HP. And the more times you... wow. 
The more times you, you oh, you're not gonna follow it up with, you know, spit up or swallow, huh? And of course, the more times you use stockpile, the greater effect those moves will be. Stockpile and spit up, respectively. I mean, uh, spit up and swallow, respectively. Dang. Okay, good. So I guess if I had just used a uh, brave bird, that would have knocked it out. But oh well. 73. Man, maybe I should just get a bomb snow up there. Oh hey, well, why not now? Just use an ice punch and bam. Okay. Oh, wait. Oh, yeah, that's right. We changed the weather to hail. Ice punch! Yeah. I see. Simply outstanding. I've seen countless trainers and even more Pokemon. You're a strong trainer. Moreover, your heart is strong. Yep. That's how it should be. A good combination. What? Infernape looks surprised by something. Oh. Really? <laughs> oh, hey. It's sand, too. So is there anything down here that I can see? Anything? Whoa. It goes all the way to... Whoa. I s interesting. Wow. An item. Way down here. A razor claw, huh? Let's see, doesn't that... Let's see, here. what does that... Does that increase the critical hit ratio? Wait. Oh, I have two of them? There are two razor claws? Wait, did I get the first one from a uh, wild Pokemon? Uh, and now I don't remember where I... Oh, yeah. It looks like it wants to lead. Well, come on. Okay. Can you get out of the way? Anyway. Thank you, Infernape. Let's go. Hmm. I, I mean, I guess, you know, I could always just sell one if I wanted. <laughs> no reason to keep two. Not really. Uh, other than just, you know, to showcase that, yeah, hey, you see this? I got two razor claws. Which, yeah, maybe I could say, keep them both for that reason, honestly. Oh, there's something around here. Where is it? A bag of stardust? Okay, so a little treasure. So I, I can sell for, what is it, 700 Pokey dollars? Uh, not right now. Star Raptor. No, no, wait, wait. Well, you know what? Honestly, I mean, if anything, I should walk with. Well, nah. Uh, you know what? Screw it. Just leave Infernape up there. <clears throat> A man standing alone, I faced the sea and train. These fists were hewn in that way. Okay. Black Belt Carl. Okay. Generic name, but you know, who cares? Rogan. Uh, probably one of my favorite poison types. <laughs> oh, hey, that's right. Acrobatics. You've got that move. So yeah, Infernape, uh, uh, who's part fighting type, knows a flying type move, and Star Raptor, who's part flying type, knows a fighting type move. In fact, both of the for fight and they each share a, a, a move, but they can both use a. Uh, uh, what, what's it called again? Oh uh, shoot! Uh, close combat, of course. Duh. You know, you know, I just forgot that at that moment. You know, you know, I, I guess it happens. They both know close combat. Oh hey, look at that, that did it too. Yeah. My training and my fists weren't enough to defeat you. Nope, not the champion. The new champion. Arr, instead of training myself, I should have trained my Pokemon. All I've been doing for the last year is starting out, is staring out over the sea. Oh really? Not much training your Pokemon, huh? Just for yourself, huh? I see. Any more items? Because I mean, you know, this is a beach. You'd expect. Oh yes. You see that? Come on.
Oh, is it? Oh, hey. Uh, oh, and not a really another bag of stardust. Yeah. Oh well. I mean, yeah, why doesn't? Oh, hey. Another bag of stardust on the beach. People are just leaving stardust behind. Or actually, no, it's probably not people who are leaving it behind. It's probably, they probably just get washed up on shore. Yeah. Okay. Hey, a ruined maniac. I don't care who you are. No one interferes with my treasure hunting. Okay. Sure, sure, sure. Ruin Maniac, Larry! Steelix! Oh man. Well, Star Raptor, if you can knock it out with, you know, a close combat, then hey. You got it. Ah! Really? Blast it. I knew you could do it, but, well, I mean, you, you didn't do it completely, though, you know. Man. Oh, well. Curse. Yeah, it's not a ghost type, so instead, that's a, its speed is down, but, in return, it, it more than makes up for that with increased attack and defense. Hmm. Let's just try an aerial ace. Let's see if that... Wait, then again, I don't know, maybe with its increased defense, it won't... Oh, for goodness sake. I, I should just use close combat. Oh crap, yeah, I should have used close combat all right, dang. Shucks, I should have realized that. Yep, you are in quite a pinch. But hey, finish it off now. Darn, man. Well, you're up, you're getting up. Oh, that's all you had, uh, just a Steelix. Yeah, that Steelix sure looks small there. My treasure! My Pokemon! <laughs> I heard there's an intriguing stone monument around, so I came running. Okay, cool. And anything up here? Might as well just explore this whole area. Obviously. Hmm. Maybe there's nothing? Or... Oh, hey, oh. <clears throat> Looks like there's a way up there, but I mean, I could probably get over there from here, too. So, yeah, let's just go this way. Yeah, let's just forget about going up there. I guess there's nothing there, so... Come out around here. Oh, hey, I, I, I didn't see you. I constantly analyze Pokemon in various battles on my laptop. Oh, really? Uh-huh. That reminds me of someone. Yeah. Ooh, you know what? The Star Raptor cannot do this. Clear body, yep. That prevents all status effects from being lowered. All of them. Yeah, Infernape, do this. And Metagross is a powerful Pokemon, so... Yeah. Psychic? Ooh, snap. I shouldn't have, I should have realized. Shucks. Oh, Infernape, I hope you can do this still. Can you knock it out with a single flamethrower? You can, right? Tell me you can. Yep, you can. Not really surprised, honestly. I just wasn't 100% sure. Things don't always work out according to my calculations. Nope. Or anyone's, for that matter, really, if we're being honest here. It's just how it is. I had a lot of fun battling with you, though. I wonder if I can analyze the battle data properly. I could use a rematch to get some additional data. Oh, and I think there's a way to do that. Rematches. Well, anyway. Uh, I should use a Bomb of Snow now. Oh, a Dragon Tamer. Perfect. A perfect for my ice type, eh? My dragon Pokemon shows to become powerful here. They sure like it. Yep. <clears throat> Hayden. Swablu. Oh yeah, that's not a dragon type, but it does evolve into a dragon type. Swablu is normal and flying type, you know, which is a common, you know, type combination. But its evolved form, Alt Altaria, loses its normal characteristics and becomes part Dragon-type. Either way... 
it's still weak against ice. It, it, it doesn't have double, the, you know, or rather, you know, quite, uh, double the weakness as it were. But, but it does still have the weakness, or, you know, double the weakness or quadruple the damage, you could say. Altaria, there we are. That's what I was expecting to see. Yeah, that's a dragon type. I wonder if an icy wind could knock it out. Just because, you know, it has the greater weakness. Yep, it did. Nice. Yeah, I knew you could do it. Of course. And, yep. Ah, oh, and Star Raptor, you're so close, too. Oh, hey, HP plus four. Everything by two, except for defense. Everything else by two, except for defense. One. Yeah. Oh, well. <clears throat> Your battle style. Yeah. My battle style. It's been several years since I left the Dragon's Den. I gotta say, your Pokemon are in the top class for toughness. Oh, you mean the Dragon's Den in the Johto region? In, uh, the Bla Black Thorn City? Destiny Knot, huh? Oh yeah, that's another unique item that could be useful, that's often used in, uh, m multi battles. If the holder becomes infatuated, the opposing Pokemon will be too. Oh, nice. So yeah. Good counter to that move then. Oh, yep. Happily coddling up to you. Cuddling up to you. <laughs> oh yeah, and this just leads back down here, of course. What the? Oh, that's right, I didn't... I need to use a repel again. Float Soul, have I caught one of those? Maybe I should now, you think? Eh, maybe not. Let's just go. I'll take care of that, you know, on my own. Uh, no, I haven't, but oh well. Forget about it. Hey, could this be that stone that Marley was talking about? The unmarked surface is, is polished like a mirror. Apparently you need some sort of item, and I guess it makes Shaman appear. And then it turns this whole area into, you know, a grassy field of some kind. I mean, I don't know exactly how... Oh. oh. Sorry about that. But anyway, I think, you know, there might be something down here I missed, but otherwise, yeah, I think that's it. I can just go now. Yep. Yeah, sorry, did this hole. What? Maybe I should try to catch it then, if I can't get away anyway. Might as well. I mean, I might as well just, you know, make this episode, you know, worth something, you know? Yeah, do something, you know, important, I guess, as it were, if you want to say. Yeah, okay, 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 I get it, I get it, I get it. <clears throat> Let's see how much that does. Hmm. Yeah, slower now, huh? Alright, alright, let's try this. Yeah, no, not attack it. Cause I don't, cause I think now a anything I throw at it will knock it out. Any damaging move, I mean. But... <clears throat> okay, you know... Just, uh, you know... Weaken its accuracy until it's uh, uh until the halo wears off. And hey, you know, speaking of th this, this is how I caught that uh, I caught the uh, I caught Heatran. Sorry, of course, yeah, Heatran. I basically just you know paralyzed it with spot. Well, actually, with discharge, and then uh, casted down its accuracy, and then kept throwing balls at it until I got it. First time I did reload, but you know this, you know, on my second reload I managed to do it with just two Ultra Balls, I kid you not. I was quite lucky. Yeah, no, yeah, Luxury will just keep taking damage from the Whirlpool. Otherwise, yep. Yeah, I might as well just make this episode count if it's going to be the last. And yeah, because I understand that it's not going to be a very climactic finale here. Yeah, so sometimes I do still wonder if maybe I should have just, uh, you know, 
ended with the championship or something. Oh, man. And I can't swap out Luxray, can I? <clears throat> Not as long as it's so caught with the Whirlpool. Man. Uh, a Great Ball. Yeah, if only I had, uh, you know, uh... Yeah, what, what are those? Yeah, what, uh, Dive Ball or something. Something that's good for Water-type Pokemon. Oh, come on. H how much longer? I mean, really? Alright, let's try another Great Ball. I mean, I'd hate to use Ultra Balls, but then again, I guess, you know, I don't think there's anything else to use the Ultra Balls on now, is there? Anyway, oh! Oh, I got it! Nice! Okay, very good. Yay, Star Raptor. So anyway, I should just, uh... Okay. See, Weasel Pokemon. 3'7", 73.9 pounds. It floats using its well-developed flotation sack. It assists in the rescues of drowning people. Yep. You know, I think I did actually plan to, you know, use a Floatzel as my staple. Instead of Whiskash. Until, you know, someone wanted to trade me my, uh... uh to, to trade for my Boizel that, that I caught at the beginning, if you remember that from earlier. So I just said, ah, screw it. Forget that, then I'm not gonna catch another, uh... Boizel for that. So yeah, now I'm at this point. Oh yeah! Those things. Let's just get those. H how do I get to them? Uh... Wait, do I got? Oh, I, I, I guess I got to surf up there somewhere. So yeah, well, well, once I get those, then I'm done here. I'm just done with this video. Wait, how do I get those? Where do I surf? Do, do I surf here somehow? Where somehow? Is, is there any room up there or what? Wait, hey, I can't, wait. No, I can't. So how do I get over there? Weird. What do I gotta do? Hmm. Yeah. Keep this up. Probably won't really need them anymore anyway, once I'm done with this. I... Oh! I see. There's one more trainer here too. There is nothing here, and yet there is a power lurking. Were you drawn by it as well? Not exactly, but you know, someone I met was... Brittany. Medicham. Let's use Ice Punch. Okay, yeah, now I see what I gotta do. So anyway, yeah, I guess there's nothing I can do with that stone. Expecting to come up with a strategy? Well, here's my strategy. Just hit it hard and fast. As much as you can. Like that. Yep, that's my strategy, Obama Snow. I think it's the second time now I got- I heard that message from Obama Snow in particular. Oh! Well, hey, I mean, uh, I think an Ice Punch will knock it out. But let's see if it's faster than Obama Snow. And let's see how much damage it can cause, too, before it goes down. Oh, hey, yep. Oh, calm mind. You're just gonna use that. Raise your special attack and special defense, uh. Eh, yeah, whatever. Bam! Goodbye. The power that slumbers within you. It is rather marvelous indeed. Yep. Oh, not a whole lot of money there, eh? You know, a place where nothing else exists. A place such as that is better suited to awaken the power within. Uh-huh. So anyway, okay, yeah, I'll go through here, and then, oh hey, another trainer. Oh, over there, that is. Okay, yeah, so I could have surfed along here too, but, eh, whatever. Alright, another psychic. Looks like, for some reason, I was drawn here, and it is here that I met you. I want to know what all this means. Okay. Now, I may need to surf around there, as I see, but it doesn't matter. Anyway, yeah, this might be the last trainer of this LP series, so, you know, let's make the most of it. <laughs> Mr. Vis, I mean, yeah, not very, uh... 
I mean, yeah, not very climactic, but then again, you know, I guess a after the league, there wasn't really much else to do. I don't know, maybe I could have just, yeah, I don't know, maybe I should have just, you know, done this first, and then I you know, went or explored the island, did everything, you know, just, uh, and basically just, you know, finish with capturing Heat Train or something. E even if it meant, you know, just re re redoing the whole, um, video to do it. Okay, yeah, so yeah, I, I see, despite being called a psychic, he has two ghost-type Pokémon. Yeah, I, I know that some psychics do use ghosts, too, and they're not just psychics, you know, but... Oh well. I mean, that's all this one has. You, know, you think he has, has at least one psychic-type. I see, so that's what it means. Oh? What are you saying, that it just meant that I defeated you or something? I feel... I feel some sort of a mystic presence emanating from here. Yeah, that's stone, right? Anyway... What the? Can I not... Oh, I guess I can't, huh? Shoot. So how... Oh, I see. Just go straight around here. Okay, okay, okay. Alright. And then, anything here? Any hidden items? Okay, nope. Not there. Here? Okay, yeah, let's get these. So first we got three. Oh, hey, not two, but three. What pier berries? I think this is the first time I'm picking these up. Nana berries, and yeah, it looks like there are three for each year. It looks like they're all different. Hey, are those... Boy, these are just oran berries, aren't they? No, block berries. Okay, gotcha. Citrus berries. All right. Okay. Oh. Infernape is holding something. Oh, a Hondu berry. Good job, Infernape. A rare candy. Hmm. Good thing to, you know, pick up last. So anyway, as for that stone up structure up there, yeah, I'm not sure. I'll just keep this up. Why not? Okay, yeah, so I, sh I guess I should have gone through here first, but okay, it doesn't matter much anyway. Let me just go back up there, I, even though I was already there, you know, just pr I pressed it anyway. Anyway. Yeah, this, an unmarked surface is polished like a mirror. Yeah. I, I guess, you know, I just gotta somehow get, yeah. I, I mean, to be honest, I'm not even sure. I, I mean, th this just might be a special event anyway. You're just like Dark Rye, which I missed. But, yeah. I guess, you know, other than this, Okay, yeah. So anyway, I guess that's basically it. I've explored everything. I mean, I've, you know, explored every city, route, cave, building, you know, all that. All over the Sinnoh region. I guess, you know, all that's left to do, really. That's the only, the only thing left. I mean, besides, you know, to challenge the battle tower. Is to just, you know, catch Pokemon as they show up. Because, yeah, I mean, right now it says a lot of Pidgey have been spotted on Route 229. So I can just catch a lot of those. And that's basically all I'll be doing. Adventure all over Sinnoh. So yeah, I'm basically done. I mean, yeah, I guess, you know, wait, I, I, I don't need to save. I mean, I guess, you know, there's this event here, and I guess, you know, I, I gotta somehow re release Cresselia too, but otherwise, yeah. I, I, I don't think I'm gonna showcase all of that, so yeah. Anyway, I think maybe what, what I'll do is just end by going, oh yeah, unknown. I, I didn't, in fact, I, yeah, that, that's a cave that I didn't actually showcase, which I should have done. So yeah, I guess, you know, I didn't showcase everything, because I forgot about that place, and, uh, wh where was it again? It was, uh, Salacion Town, I believe. Yeah, that's it. So anyway, why don't I just end by going back home? A, a good way to end the uh, a Let's Play series, right? Go home and call it good. And yeah, the fact that it's also nighttime means that I'll just be spending the night here before continuing on my next adventure, or wh whatever it may be. So anyway, hi, Mom! Welcome home, Bug. Are you and your Pokemon healthy? I just made dinner. Take a quick rest, dear. Yay, I'll be just in time for dinner. Maybe it's a little late, but hey, that's okay. And for a rest. So anyway, why don't I just go up here and, yeah, 
So I guess, you know, I haven't cut any Pokemon on my National Pokedex. But, but on my Sinnoh Dex, yeah, 60, wait, oh, I guess, I, oh, wait, never mind, yeah, I guess I got a few, yes. Because, as you can see, 66 caught, 231 seen, and over here, 64 caught, 150, all 150 of, of the Sinnoh Dex seen. Just gotta, well, you know, as the old phrase goes, catch them all. Gotta catch them all. So anyway, I'm just gonna call it good here. This, I would say, you know, this is, you know, a good place to stop. So, yeah. It's been good. Maybe that's a little. I'm sorry. That's a, maybe that's just a little anticlimactic at the end. But you know, sure it's all good. Oh yeah, and there you can see my total play time: 42 hours, 34 minutes. Even though you didn't see all of it, that's okay. Shouldn't sure you see? But anyway, I'll just I'll just call it quits here. So, God bless everyone, and I'll see you in another video series. Peace out.